Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'd like to say a few words on uh, the motion that we've uh, submitted. Uh, our reserves are diminishing at a rate of £800,000 a week. At this rate, we will go bankrupt very quickly. The budget proposal relies on an eight, uh, £11 million uh, reserve drawdown, and it also relies on the Council's new uh, Council Transformation Programme, which will actually achieve the remainder of the savings, which amounts to £65 million pounds by 2021. Since 2010, We've actually cut our budget by £129 million. Pounds. We've reduced the number of directors, assistant directors and heads of service. We've cut a lot of bureaucracy out of our functions. We've changed working practices and we've developed new technologies and implemented new technologies. And we have centralised back office functions and we've made more efficiencies by developing better ways of working. National policy, Mr Mayor, is moving away from supporting councils through revenue support grants and asking councils to raise more money locally. Some councils are able to do this better than we can. For example, councils with high value properties, Band D and E, can raise higher uh, council tax. But within Kirklees, most of our properties are uh, A rated. This means that we don't have the capacity to raise as much revenue finance as others. We have higher than normal and higher than other councils uh, in terms of deprivation. Our needs are higher and there is more vulnerable people living in Kirklees. For example, 25% of our households have an annual income of £10,000, which is around 45,000 people. 20% of older people live in poverty, uh, this is around 16,700. 30% of families on child benefit receive child tax credits and working tax credits. 18% of our children live in poverty, and 33% of our households live in poverty. The LGA have recognised this, Mr Mayor. The poorest areas have absorbed the highest levels of cuts in services. There is cross-party consensus nationally that the current funding model is not working. Social care funding is in a crisis situation. 134 upper-tier authorities spent over £1.1 billion in adult and children's services. So we are not alone in this situation, Mr Mayor. The LGA research has also shown that social care faces a funding gap of £2.6 billion pounds to the year 2020. Mr Mayor, I feel that what this council did was a positive move when they went to see the, um, the, uh, the minister in London, um, Marcus John Johnson. Um, at that meeting, I think we actually put our case forward in a logical and a rational manner. Uh, we don't know the outcome of that yet, uh, but I'm always hopeful. But one thing we have been doing is meeting on a cross-party basis since that meeting. The impact of working in collaboration and on a cross-party basis and pulling politics on one side and putting our communities first will only provide dividends for us and our community, Mr Mayor. By con continuing to work on a cross-party basis, we will be able to innovate and explore more ideas to bring in additional income and to deliver service in a different way. I hope we will continue to do this and unite as a council, and I hope the council approves this budget. We have no other choice, Mr Mayor. We can't afford to walk in a, into a financial black hole. The consequences will leave this council bankrupt, and the citizens of Kirtley will be far worse off. Thank you, Mr Mayor.